On TikTok, such stuff is described as aesthetic, an adjective, not a noun. And this new application of the word suggests that you're not choosing a product that looks pretty, but saying something about your commitment to your sense of identity. Like the fancy stereo equipment embraced by yuppies in the 1980s, your funky products make your buying habits feel like informed or even cultured choices. You're not buying olive oil, you're cultivating a vibe. You're world building through your clothes, belongings and groceries, mood boarding your daily existence. You don't even have to share pictures of these things online for them to be aesthetic. These products insist that there is something more, even something cinematic, to the small and boring choices you make every day. No cultural figure has lent their work so easily to the aesthetics movement than Sofia Coppola, whose Priscilla Presley biopic, Priscilla, recently came out and whose movies are contemplative commitments to girlish pleasures and feelings. The way her work has been contextualized online suggests that this strange way of examining ourselves is, like Coppola's own cinematic view on femininity, deeper than we assume. This past summer and fall, Coppola's aesthetic gained traction on TikTok. One of the most popular iterations, based on an explainer by user at Late Night War, involves sharing photos of your unclean room, an unmade bed, piles of journals and books and a disco ball, an assortment of clothing stuffed in a closet, vintage perfume bottles, with a voiceover declaring that this is a statement of the dweller's inner emotional turmoil. Here's the thing, when a boy's room is messy, it's like, oh my god, he's filthy. It's fetid, it's disgusting, it reeks, you're lazy, you're letting yourself go. But when my room is messy, when a girl's room is messy, it's Sofia Coppola. It's hell as a teenage girl. It's Lindsay Lohan in an early 2000s movie. It's indie, it's hot. Is your office filled with Victorian-style furniture, framed photographs of disgruntled white women and a rack of clothing? It's Coppola coded. Another meme promises, five hours of girls getting ready in Sofia Coppola movies, ASMR. Alas, further searching suggests no such mashup exists. It seems obvious that Coppola's work would inspire such treatment. A similar thing happened when Wes Anderson released his film, Asteroid City, earlier this year. Both filmmakers have a highly mannered style in which the look of the film is as essential as the dialogue and plot. The look of her films often is the plot. She has said that she wanted, The Virgin Suicides, 1999, to resemble a 1970s hair commercial, and for, Marie Antoinette, 2006, to feel like a music video. You're meant to put together what's going on by examining a woman's face or pile of stuff or by listening to the soundtrack. Which is very much how teenagers, notoriously reticent creatures, also communicate.